the most popular method today that everybody is working on, stop working on this. You work on JPEGs. Those are not generative models. They predict in representation space. Abandon probabilistic models because it's intractable. Use energy-based models. Abandon contrastive methods in favor of those regularized methods. Abandon reinforcement learning, but that I've been saying for a long time. We know it's inefficient. You have to use reinforcement learning really as a last resort when your model is inaccurate or, or your cost function is inaccurate. But if you are interested in human level AI, just don't work on LLM, there's no point. In fact, if you are in academia, don't work on LLM because you're in competition with like hundreds of people with tens of thousands of GPUs, like there's nothing you can bring to the table, do something else. With these messages that Jan has been saying, they are not new. He's been saying like this stuff for like the last three years. It's very important to remember like who he is talking to. He's not talking about the AI engineer trying to make an application with LLM or the research scientist trying to optimize their generative model product. If it's you, keep doing what you do. LLMs are awesome. They should be improved and packaged into product for like increased or general productivity. He's talking to researchers, PhD and lab directors in artificial intelligence who are looking for a path toward human level, general intelligence, EGI, this type of stuff. When you look at it like that, like he's 100% right. These labs have order of magnitude fewer resources than the big AI company. And this was an issue before all of the Gen AI stuff uh, started to blow commercially. Before that, people were complaining that there's Google that has all of the resources and then they're publishing like crazy. This is nothing new here. Whatever they find will be kind of trivial for an AI company focusing all their brand power and their billion dollars of investment on optimizing like the LLMs. Other methods and other ideas are needed and the one that Jan outlined are fantastic. 